All right, pastors. This is Brother William Bray, Atoka First Baptist Church here in Atoka, Oklahoma. So I run into the same problem that all of us have here at Easter, trying to find an FM transmitter. And so I watched a video from a pastor in Buffalo Valley, my old stomping grounds, and he gave me just a brilliant idea uh, to try some things to see if it works. So I went to Walmart and uh, I spent roughly 50 bucks, roughly. Uh, I got some extra things just to make sure. I'm gonna show you what all I have here. I'm gonna document this because if this ends up working, this could be like the cheapest, most effective way to have a uh, FM transmitter for your services if you wanted to do an outside drive-in service or something like that. So here you go. All right, so here's what we have. I have our first option is going to be the Skosh this universal wireless transmitter. And I'm gonna to try to go out of my board of my little PA, and we're gonna see if that works. Uh, and I'm gonna probably use those RCA converters right there. Uh, otherwise, I have this FM transmitter that works with your uh, cigarette lighter, and it has an auxiliary out. If you look right there, you can see the auxiliary on the side. And to that, I have a 12 foot long auxiliary 3.5 jack cable. Uh, and then I have batteries uh, to go into the Skosh. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try this on my little PV uh, at first. I'm gonna just try this little board just to see what happens. And we'll go from there and see how it happens. You may have to have phantom power. And if so, then I may have to go to a different board. I'll keep you updated. All right, so the next thing that I can see is on this particular little transmitter, which is the first one that I'm gonna try. If you look on there, it's got, um, four different primary FM stations with the point one, three, five, seven, and nine. And so the first thing we have to do is we have to look for a station that's vacant. That would be a 88.1, et cetera, 90.1, 106, or 107 uh, point, any other number. So I'm gonna look on the radio and try to find the right radio station that's free of any signal right now that we'll be able to use for the broadcast. So in uh, looking for the right stations, I'm really finding some cool radio stations here. Uh, I got some old classic 80s and 90s stuff on some of these channels. Who listens to the radio anymore? That's just weird. Uh, we're still searching though. Okay, so this is funny. Now, I've got some Weird Al playing. I used to be a big Weird Al guy, so um, just so I know there's not going to be any Weird Al on the radio, so I'm not concerned as to whether or not uh, I'm actually listening to another station. And so I just have my phone plugged into the board uh, with the little transmitter. And I'm gonna show you what I have going here in a second, but I wanna show you where I'm at in uh, comparison to the church, just so you know. Okay, so here's where I'm at. It's starting to sprinkle outside, but that's the church, uh, the awning that will be under way over there. And you can see the little table sitting right there in the bushes. That's where my PA is sitting right now. So I've got my daughter over here. She's driving around the block too. Uh, listening so that she can hear uh, what's all going on. So we're gonna keep testing this, but this is looking awesome for seven bucks. So I'm here. I was way over there behind that tree, uh, sitting in the parking lot. We heard it great there. We were able to hear it over in this portion of our parking lot by our live center. And then anywhere in this portion of our parking lot over on the other side of the live center. And here's how we did it. So I literally have a line coming out of a couple of channels going into a phone right now and just a converter on the iPhone with some music playing. And this is it. This is all I have is this little guy right here set to 107.1. Um, I paid $7 for this guy and I bought a package of AAA batteries to charge it or to, to, to power it. And hopefully those will last for roughly an hour. Uh, full usage going straight into the out on this board. Uh, the I just set a standard mix on the master volume uh, and then set my channels over here highs up lows just about standard and volume set to about a little over half um, the mix sounds great straight out of the box I haven't even done anything I am gonna go grab a microphone and we're gonna plug a mic in and see what a mic sounds like going through here as well so I'll keep you posted again so I'm gonna try a little bit different method here. I'm just gonna use the media, uh, the RCAs out instead of 
taking up two channels uh, on this little mixer. I'm just gonna use the media out uh, and going straight into the uh, converter for an iPhone. Uh, and I'm gonna play some music from there and that'll let me know if I've achieved the same thing. And I will have just used up one channel instead of two on this board. So now the big question, now the big question with all of this is, Every got everybody gonna, is everybody gonna be able to hear it all at the same time? Will the multiple vehicles that will be here, the multiple antennas, will that affect how the broadcast goes? I will only know when people get here tomorrow and try it. It's gonna be the uh, trial by fire, if you will. We're just gonna have faith that maybe this little guy will put out enough juice for everybody to be able to uh, join in with us via FM. So we're fixing to try out one more method and I'm also gonna plug a microphone in straight to this board. I have no speakers plugged in out here at all. Um, so I will be getting nothing coming through the speakers, but that doesn't matter because we're not looking for outs through the speakers, we're looking for outs through the board through the FM. Uh, station or the FM waves so we're gonna give it a try okay so we're video documenting this for other pastors in case they need help doing this so what I have now uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you what I got the same setup that we had just a second ago but now everything's the camera's kind of reverse here but um, I've got auxiliary and then I have my microphone plugged into channel one and I'm gonna flip the camera and so I have my daughters over there on the other side of the road they're gonna flash their lights at me if they can hear me coming through loud and clear. Looky there at all those flashing lights. All right, girls, does it sound clear? Does it sound windy? Uh, if it sounds good coming through your speakers, give me a flash of the light again. All right, now I want y'all to transition down to the other end of the building and we're gonna see how that works again. All right, so now I have my daughter pulling up on the other side of the live center. I'm speaking into the microphone right now. She's gonna point her vehicle at me and I'm gonna ask her the question as I'm speaking through the microphone. Can you hear me? She's gonna flash her lights. Is she flashing her light? Oh yes, there they are. She doesn't have them pointed at me, but she is flashing her lights uh, at me. Yeah, there we go. All right, now All right, so now she's gonna pull up in our grass parking area over by where our buses are. She's gonna point her lights straight at me. Deborah, can you hear me coming through your stereo loud and clear? Oh, I'm getting the flashing of the lights. Beautifully done. They're Last place. on the other side of the building now, uh, they've pulled in front of the church. I don't have a long enough mic cable here to go around to see them, but my other daughter's gonna come around and give me the thumbs up. She's giving me the thumbs up, praise the Lord. So check this out, Facebook world. This is where we're at, okay? Check this. I'll go get my receipt if I need to. I gotta look over here. Over here is the camera, not over here. This little guy right here, check it. Okay, seven bucks, seven bucks, okay? Um. I already had the cables for my phone because that's just something we have anyway. I had to buy some AAA batteries. You may have some AAA batteries laying around. If, but if you have a head unit that has any sort of ends that you can go from here to in, um, and then now I have four channels on this one. We'll have maybe a couple of microphones for the uh, speakers tomorrow for the people who will be speaking, and uh, maybe, maybe one mic for instruments. So again, this is what all I purchased, okay? These are all the items that I purchased. This was my receipt, 54 bucks, something like that. The two that are highlighted there, $7.47. Those are the only two things I used. So I'm literally gonna take everything else back, um, but I'm gonna wait until after we try the broadcast one time. Because uh, I think this other FM transmitter may be stronger, and so it may blast a bigger signal. So I'm going to try the little one first on our first go around. Then, if it works great, I take all the other stuff back. I'm out 14 bucks. Um, the uh, cable, let me turn it back around. This cable right here, uh, it's just a converter to get you from RCA uh, to receive an auxiliary, which is a 3.5 millimeter input, um, what they call an eighth inch jack. And this guy right here, uh, just a Skosh FM transmitter, super simple, nothing to it. You've probably got this cable laying around. You can go to any of your sound text boards. They probably got one or two of these laying around. Uh, and then you just got to get it into your board, man. So I hope this was an inexpensive way to help you uh, transmit your service. Uh, we're going to try it out tomorrow and see how it goes. Uh, if it worked for you, let me know. Comment. Uh, let me know if it works for you. Save the $139 on the FM transmitter. Amen. Yeah, that's right. So good luck. God bless. Hope everything turns out great for you.